lot of people come in here and ask us how it's pronounced. It's planes. They're like, are you sure? I've been coming here forever. I've been calling it Flins. <laughs> We're a fourth generation bakery. It started out with my great, great uncle who had come over from Germany. People have been coming here for generations. This is how we're involved in other people's lives. This is how we're helping them celebrate things that they're happy about. It just makes me proud that I get to be involved in something that is a legacy here. I mean, Plains is a staple in St. Matthews. I guess as the years have gone on and has changed a little bit, I think the area does have a, a little bit of a revival, a younger feel. We really see ourselves almost as a community center as well as a natural food store. The mission is to be a resource for the community, our health, and our company. All of our produce is either locally grown or certified organic. We really take pride in not just the standards but also the experience that customers can have in the store. It's amazing what really can be made into lamps that people don't really realize. So a lot of times people are just like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, and I don't have any room for it. But if you turn it into a lamp, then you've got light and a family memento. I have lived here all my life, so I know St. Matthews pretty well, and most of the shops that are in this area are local people who have lived here most of their lives, too. We specialize in so many things. I mean, we, I mean, we started the business on fresh pasta, and that's, we sell a lot of fresh pasta. I think over 20 varieties of ravioli, over 12 varieties of tortellini, plus the flavored pasta. We make manicotti, lasagnas, that's our niche. We figure if you use the best ingredients, how can you go wrong? So that was our, from day one, and it's worked. All of my grandmother's recipe that passed down to my mom to me, so it's just, you know, everything is authentic Thai. We've been in business for going on 12 years. What it sets us apart is we cater a lot to vegan and gluten-free dishes. We still have a lot of the same customers that came to us when uh, we first opened the door 12 years ago and they're still coming in now. St. Matthew's nightlife is awesome. I've lived in a couple of different neighborhoods other than St. Matthew's, but I, I feel like this is the best neighborhood that, you know, to be in. You might walk into Saints and you have no idea how to get to the back staircase. Sometimes it's tricky to find until you hear the music coming down from upstairs and you just follow the music. I think the stigma of salsa specifically, or a Latin dancing, is that like, oh, you have to be Spanish to know how to Latin dance, but I don't think that's true at all. It's this mass of people brought together from all backgrounds and stories and walks of life and our love of using music and dance as a way to connect with one another and build friendship and community. I went to the National Music School in Cuba for 10 years and always I love to, to bring my music over here to the United States so here we are, we, you know, we got a salsa band over here in Louisville, Kentucky. something like salsa that brings in such a wide range of ethnicities and of a vibrant and rich culture. I think it livens it up. I think it gives so much color and texture to this neighborhood in particular.